Welcome back guys, Dr. Sunshine here, here at Daily Dista Fail, playing Bastion. And I'm pleasantly surprised to find that I wonder what I've this game. Um, let's just turn normal mode. You know, no sweat mode is the mode I would normally pick. Let's just try this one. Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it point in the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. Where's my friend? Pass my friend in the road, I don't see any friend. I don't see anybody. Unless it's my hammer. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. You know, I need to know what the calamity is. Oops. Oh, I'm gonna record. That a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Fella got a piece of him though. Kid just rages for a while. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Got a holder still to spin up the chamber. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. Oops, a school of squirts tunnels up around him. Must have fled here from the mines. <laughs> I probably should have picked up another one. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity so got him for his drinking did. <laughs> the 
then Kid finds his trusty shield. The security takes him for a petty thief. Special delivery. Gas pillows. Windbags start turning up for last call. Them windbags are playing for keeps. Squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. I didn't mean to do that. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Yeah. Wasn't long before the kid could loose an arrow, strong and true. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. Kid pockets a memento from a breaker, once the fastest man in the land. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they're aiming for a kid. Picks up a few pointers from a dusty old tome. And then, he falls to his death. I'm just fooling.
good. This is really good. He's a mighty fast learner. He finds the distillery right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid'll feel like a new man. Um, so, the arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Specifically, for it so I can figure out which button did what. Right. Okay, like Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. Ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. Takes a chunk of alloy. The smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbags. Kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Don't go down that easy. 
Oh no, no, he does. Cause I thought that was just a few plus guys. misery. Rob's a scumbag of his last meal. Is it cleaned out? Like, did it dry well? I dried it. Okay, because it, like, I left it in the car for a while. And I wanted to make sure there's, like, no way I'll do anything now. Well, the center one kind of stinks. Okay. Because it had. I mean, I don't, I don't see anything in it when I dried it. Okay. It kind of stinks. It had cream cheese left in that. Or not cream cheese, sour cream. It had some. Because I was just like, I got it out, I was like, huh? Oh. He finds the core to the Wharf District. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. Kid has a feeling he better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. See, that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Kid just keeps running. to go. Nope. Not dealing with any of that. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. We talk for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there, then watch. It's an odd narration style. And just like that, the bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Grown stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. No, I don't want to go to the wild unknown. Did it save yet? I don't know if I can. Can I save? Okay. Um. The Bastion ain't gonna build itself. Well, not entirely. Build something on the foundation? Or build on the foundation? Somewhere on the 
Yeah. Kid ponders what to build. Um. The Bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. Uh, like we kind of on. Use that. Ain't much kid can handle with hammer and bow in hand. Right, um, I guess technically we can go between places that saves. Kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the outro here, and then I guess it'll say when I'm going into the wild of moons. So, um, that's all for now. I'm Dr. Sajan. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're trying to find it on the way up the door. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. Um, oh, it just was falling where my mouse was. My mouse is right, what? Ain't always much to say. Safe. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Very poor, that took you. 